Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for why is there no contact? Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a person read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. Also, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com. All the information is in the description box below. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? And there's multiple card decks here. So we're going to talk about why is there no contact from them, okay? Um, what do they want to say to you? What their feelings are, okay? Uh, what do you need to know about this connection that you don't know that could help you? Um, also, when is there going to be, you know, when are they going to communicate or are they going to communicate and what are the blessings coming towards you guys? All right, my darlings, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So why is there no contact? My cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one that they're out of communication with. Why is there no contact from this person? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. So we got the Seven of Cups energy, okay? We have the Page of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. The uh, Queen of Wands. The Queen of Cups the Princess of Cups, or the Page of Cups. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, some kind of politics. Somebody's trying to use their, they're trying to use their logic here when it comes to a situation from the past. Okay, so since I see people cards, guys, it could be people involved in the situation. I just wanna put that out there. I'm not saying in every situation that's gonna be the case. We're gonna clarify to get more information here, but there potentially could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, okay, involved or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy involved, okay? Okay, so this person seems like they don't know what they want. Seven of Cups energy, okay? They have this sense of confusion here. They keep looking at things and memories and you know, examining their thoughts over and over and over again, okay? It seems like this person is dealing with a lot of burdens or responsibilities here also with the Ten of Wands energy. This person really wants to make some kind of decision, but they haven't made that decision as of yet. Okay, so let's go further on this. Let's get more information. We see that this person, there could be some confusions or this sense of overanalyzing because of flirty energy. And this person is in this defeated mode. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? Okay, so what do cancers, why is cancers love interest the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? Why is this, why are they out of communication with cancer? All right, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Right, Seven of Cups is clarified by the um, will this fulfill my dreams, my, my wishes, my desires? You know, I lack hope when it comes to house, family, something stable. I need some kind of professional advice or I need some advice here because this is the card of advice, okay? I want to dispute some things here in my defeated energy, okay? We see a person card and some boundaries here to heal, okay? Regrets. Um, okay, so let's keep going. Why is Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why are they out of communication with this person? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay. So it looks like they need to make a decision. They haven't made a decision yet. The waiting is about to be over, okay? They want to assert themselves or they haven't asserted themselves as of yet towards a reconciliation. Okay, so we can already see that they're kind of going back and forth about that. Okay, so with this lack of communication here, we see that they are, there's something that's coming to a completion here, all right, with the 10 card energy about a decision. And we see the three card energy could be saying more than one choice or option or waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for the right time, all right? We see the coffin card energy coming out. We see justice and we see worry. Okay, so ending, stopping, completing a situation, okay? Taking a break, 
for something to be completed or accomplished, to make a decision for some kind of justice here in their worries, their anxiety of waiting for the right time. So this seems to be a little bit of procrastination going on, okay? Straight up, there's procrastination going on here, Cancer. Um, they're like, I wanna make the best decision here and I want things to align in my favor here with the Wheel of Fortune energy towards this opportunity a success, key current energy. As I said, we see there's, I'm being patient. I'm being patient. But we even see that there's a communication card at the end there. So potential for love and I would feel like better if I also, if I saw the bird, like I see that there's a bird here. It seems like this person's like not facing things. Okay. It's like they're trying not to face this situation. There's a lot of contemplation about emotions and passions um, going on. We see main person, which could be you, could be the love interest and needing some kind of changes here. And they're trying to hide from it. They're trying to keep it to themselves. Okay going further on this. So they wanna make an effort to bring things into balance here, okay? When it comes to the soulmate connection to this relationship, okay? Because they may feel that like there's a lack of balance here. And you can even see, like there's the reconciliation card, an opportunity towards a relationship, okay? As the potential of why they are not doing what they're doing, that they haven't taken control of things yet because I feel like your person basically is procrastinating because they don't know what they want to do here. And um, they're kind of going back and forth and they keep over analyzing things with that seven energy. There's, there's the seven energy and they want to make the effort to bring things into balance, but I feel like they don't want to deal with it. They're not facing it. They want to keep it to themselves. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Because you can see like this, all this waiting around, all this patient energy, all this avoidance going on. Okay, so what do they want to say to you? What does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Cancer's love interest want to say to them, the one they're out of communication with? Shimmer cards they need to see. Shimmer cards they need to see. Well, obviously they want to bring things into balance towards a happy medium here. But there is this pain, this hurt going on, the sadness. They want success. They don't want success to end. And they're having faith towards this abundance. And they want to have abundance of confidence. <laughs> Your person's definitely procrastinating. Okay. Yeah, they want to have abundance of confidence in their consciousness here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what they want to say to you that they haven't said to you is that they're doing this because they're trying to gain their confidence around the situation. Okay. All right. Let's keep going here. Uh, let's see how your love interest cancer feels about you. How does cancer's love interest, the one they're here, the one they're going to know about, how does cancer's love interest, the one they're out of communication with, how does this person feel about cancer's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, wow. Jesus, it just wanted to pop out. And where we have the confidence card again, six of wands energy. And we have the world card energy and the eight of wands energy. Okay, so interesting that the confidence card comes. This is my confidence card, guys. Okay, this is, I want to be right. I want a victory here. Okay, and I want to feel accomplished and completed here before I communicate eight of wands. It's pretty straightforward there. Um, also, I want things to come full circle. Mm, they do love you. They're really shocked and surprised about how things are going and they want to be patient to bring things into balance. They feel very tempted by you and very a very strong desire for you. They may even have appeared to you in your dream actually or they've tried to astro travel towards you for some of you. That's what I feel like from this particular card. Um, they do feel like you're a very stable connection for them, a very solid connection for them. And that they see this as a solid foundation here with the Four of Wands, or some of you, they even want to marry you with the Four of Wands if you're not already married here with the Four of Wands energy. That they want to bring this communication here. They want to communicate with you. They feel like they want to communicate with you, and they do want to hold on to this. But they want to make sure 
I feel like cancer that there's no strings attached okay uh, because of these strong desires that they have because they were shocked about something here with their feelings uh, they do feel like you guys really are connected uh, soulmate connected okay um, they feel like there's this relationship and they are really shocked and surprised about how much balance you bring them that's what I feel like also that you kind of balance them out they feel like they love your attention and they do want things to come full circle but they feel like there's always something going on here that they have to watch out for in communication or energy behind it they feel like they want some kind of healing recovery and love and they want things to be completed here towards an effort towards this decision and they feel like shocked and surprised about this balanced or patient energy they feel like they want to take a leadership role they want to make the best decision on the long term they have a lot of desires they will have strong attachment to you because of this strong foundation you guys have and again we see two people coming together here two people coming together here yeah wow okay so let's keep going here cancer how does cancer's love interest the one they're here the one they know about the one they're out of communication with how does this person feel about cancer's romantically show me cards they need to see show me the cards you need to see okay they feel they this was unexpected to them that you bring them happiness, but they don't know how to tell you. There is this stableness that you're like home to them. They feel like you give them a lot of good advice and that they feel a lot of regret here. They want a new beginning, a fresh start, or start a family with you. They want to heal this situation. Okay. Let's also go further here. How does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for? And they regret lying to you. How does Cancer's love interest feel about cancer so one they're out of communication with show me the cards they need to see show me the cards they need to see yeah they've really been thinking about you and you're very nurturing and supportive they're trying to be hopeful about the situation they feel like they want to make the best decision or you are the best decision for them they want to give you some kind of text message letter and document to bring things into balance because of this soulmate connection that you guys have they feel like you're spiritually connected, but they need you to be patient with them, or they feel like they need to be patient to see how things are going to play out. Let's move this out of the way, Cancer. And let's see, what do you need to know about this connection that you don't know that could help you? And then we're going to find out about the communication here, okay? What does Cancer need to know about this love connection that they don't know that could help them to better understand what's going on here? Show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to see. Okay, thank you. They're happy with you, okay? They're happy with you. But they know that something really shocking and surprising happened that they know they need to heal here. And there may be a lack of flexibility around that, okay? Or they're trying to be flexible here. Or they're very cautious about this flexibility here. This person feels, sees you as a blessing and they really, it's really brought light to that. But they are really focused on their security, they're very defensive. Your person feels like there's a lot of decisions here or there's a freedom, wanting more freedom here in taking risks because of people. Or they feel like there is, there's, there's people here involved in the situation and something that's risky here when it comes to going out or something pertaining to people. They want to see some kind of signs of changes. Your person feels like there was something shocking, surprising. They want to go with the flow and enjoy the moment. But there is something to do with these people involved or the situation, other people involved with this somehow. Okay, so, so let's now see, is there going to be communication here, Cancer? Will Cancer, and we're going to take it from the perspective of them reaching out to you, Cancer. So will Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one that they're out of communication with, will they get communication from their love interest that they're out of contact with right now? 
Will Cancer's Love Ventures contact them, the one they're out of communication with? Show me cards they need to see, show me the cards they need for the next three months. Show me cards they need to see, show me cards they need to see. Okay, mice. We see stork. We see ring. Hmm. It's saying no, yes, maybe. So something's yet to be decided here. Let's go a little further down. Okay. Okay, so that's a yes. Let's go down a little further. Okay, so I feel like it's gonna take a little bit longer, guys, than, than what we're stating here. So, because it's saying delays. Um, because there's something stuck here because of burdens, responsibilities, or lack of confidence. Um, it does seem like there's stress here um, and wanting some kind of change because of a commitment or not wanting to keep repeating the same patterns over and over again, okay? Which is causing the stuck energy when it comes to movement around the situation. So it may be a little bit more delayed, okay? So be aware of that with the mountain cart energy. But let's little get a little bit more information here about why. Can you give me a better understanding of why this person isn't going to communicate with them or what's going on with this situation to make that happen? What's, give me more information about this spirit. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Thank you. Okay, so we see that it's more or less about uh, taking a chance and giving this a chance. That seems to be the problem, like a rebirth or a new beginning. And we see that things that have to be brought into balance first. There's some kind of polarity and anger, frustration here. Okay, so the advice around this is saying that there will be this new beginning, but first things have to come into balance here with anger and frustration around the situation. Okay, and we see the polarity card. Okay, so like a shadow side and like... Um, bringing things into balance and being patient about bringing things into balance because of frustration or anger around the situation. But you will see a miracle here, Cancer, okay? And movement here, we see the dance card movement here. Mm, I feel like it leans more towards you guys though. It looks like once things come into balance and there's no more frustration that you're gonna see a movement, you're gonna see a miracle in movement here, but I do feel like it's gonna lean more towards you with the leadership card, okay? because there is this long-term commitment, this relationship here, okay? And a, a life partner here, and friendship, okay? I hope that helped, guys, okay? To give you better clarity on this situation. All right, so let me see what blessings are coming in for you guys, okay? So what blessings can Cancer expect? Some of the cards I need to see. Some of the cards I need to see you you are going to get some blessings okay you're about to receive some blessings things are going to be brought to light to you you'll be able to go with the flow you'll be able to see it it's going to be very obvious and you're going to really enjoy the moment there because it looks like you're going to get some kind of freedom here and it's something to do with people or the public and you're gonna be able to take some kind of risk here that you haven't been able to take before. And Spirit is saying to trust into that, trust, put trust into that and to focus in on that. All right, my beautiful Cancers. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.